Hello friends and welcome to the second presentation on molecular dynamics. In this presentation, I will discuss how we can simulate a multi-particle system and we will also develop a code for that. So let's uh, jump to the content which I am going to cover in this presentation. First we will start with introduction and strategy which we will use to develop our code. Then we will take uh, different forces to check our code. First is a Coulomb force, next is a gravitational force, LJ potential and for magnetic field we will take Lorentz force. And at the end I will summarize my presentation. So let's start with uh, this introduction and uh, strategy. So as you all know in previous presentation we have seen how molecular dynamics has enabled us to simulate a single particle system with desired accuracy and we have also concluded that for velocity independent potentials or say velocity independent forces Bohr's algorithm works sorry Beeman's algorithm works best and for uh, magnetic field Bohr's algorithm works best but that analysis was restricted to a single particle only right so in this presentation we will move one step ahead and we will simulate a multi-particle system by this term multi-particle system i mean that we are going to have more than one particle right this involves a good understanding of numerical algorithm and programming so two things are required numerical algorithms and programming in previous presentation i have already gone through various numerical methods uh, and we have also developed a code for that but the only thing is it was restricted to a single particle now in this presentation this numerical algorithms are not a big task because I have already discussed that. In this presentation, programming is going to be a big challenge for us guys. Okay, so let's uh, start our uh, programming with uh, a code, right? This is the code from uh, Linear Storovals and uh, he said and I quote, bad programmers worry about the code good programmers worry about data structures and their relationship so in this presentation also i will focus more on the explanation part of the code rather than the actual code so that you can understand what is happening inside the code and uh, recreate this code in a different programming uh, languages as well okay so this is the strategy guys our code will stand on this three main pillars structure communication and speed so let's uh, discuss this uh, first pillar structure right so uh, there are three main parts in our code okay first is initialization part second is calculation part and third is output part in this initialization part we have two files inputs.txt which is our input text file second is initial.py which will uh, this code will initialize our uh, uh, all inputs okay the next is calculation part and let me tell you this is the actual code okay in this part we will have our uh, solver so we will focus more on this main.py file and the last part is output uh, file which is plot data dot py this will create uh, output in the form of a uh, different for plots and uh, it will also create uh, output text file let me show you this uh, files so this is my inputs dot text file so you can compare this thing here this is initial dot py this is main dot py and this is plot data dot py okay so uh, as I said uh, this is uh, a challenging part to code uh, to code this multi particle system so let me uh, simplify this thing a little bit so this uh, illustration will uh, simplify this uh, process for you guys 
so uh, as you already know uh, in first presentation our code was working uh, with this strategy you throw inputs from one side of uh, your solo and on the other hand you will have next position and next velocity of your particle same thing we are going to do with multi particle right but we will run this thing in a for loop so as you can see here uh, we will throw list of n particles list of initial position and initial velocity to our solver and inside this solver means inside this gray box we will run a for loop and individually this uh, for loop will uh, generate next position and next velocity for each and every particle and at the end of uh, the process we will have list of uh, um, uh, n uh, particles position and velocity so let's uh, discuss the second pillar of our strategy which is communication part okay and this is a map of uh, communication as you can see uh, this is our input.txt file this file will be read by uh, this initial.py file main.py file and plot data.py file right so all this python file will read inputs from input.txt file the next is initial.py this uh, code will generate inputs for main.py so main.py will read this input file and will create output for us this is the first kind of output in text form Further, if we wish to plot this data, then we can run a plot data.py file, right? So what it will do is it will read this the text file and create plot for us. Here you must note that this uh, files and this plot are our outputs. So let's see uh, how this code looks. See, this is uh, our inputs.txt uh, file. As you can see here, this n is the number of particles. This tmax is the simulation times. So we will run this uh, simulation for 30 units of time. This is dt, means our accuracy. The next is initial.py. So let me show this thing to you guys. So here, First of all, I am importing all the necessary libraries and next is I am creating um, this uh, make data files class, right? So here you can see that uh, we have uh, run this, uh, we will run this uh, simulation for four particles. So I am uh, creating list of four input, uh, four initial positions, right? For each particle. This is uh, for X. Uh, for x we have uh, four inputs for y we have four inputs and same goes for velocity also this uh, four inputs are for velocity vx and this is for vy and this is the charge on our particle i will discuss the physics behind uh, this inputs um, in next video so don't worry about uh, that thing much uh, i will discuss that in next video right now you only focus on this uh, structure and uh, communication part of um, this code so uh, in here this uh, write data file the this function will generate output files so let me run this thing and see what we can do. so uh, after the completion we can check this uh, data folder in this uh, folder you can see that we have uh, five text file which are our outputs uh, if you see this uh, x.txt file, we have uh, in, uh, initial uh, position for each uh, particle. This minus one is for first particle, this one is for um, second, this one is for third, and this one is for fourth particle. Similarly, if we have n number of particles, it will create n columns for, uh, for n columns of this uh, x uh, initial position. Next comes the main.py. This is the actual code guys. So here also I am uh, importing uh, all the necessary libraries. Then I am creating this class named solver. This will solve our problem with, this, with the help of solver. So here also I am uh, first um, importing my input files. And uh, this one is input.txt file. 
this files we have kept here in this uh, data folder and this uh, input.txt file is here in this uh, folder right in our main folder then this is the simple process this one is the acceleration uh, this function will vary according to our uh, force right so if you have a coulomb force we have this kind of a uh, function for uh, lj potential we may have a uh, actually we will have a different um, acceleration term so this will uh, vary based on our uh, expression of a force which i will also discuss in the next video and uh, this one is demand algorithm this is our actual solver which i have uh, uh, discussed in um, strategy part right so here you can see this is my for loop for uh, each particle i am running my uh, that gray box which uh, i have seen uh, i have showed you so this one is the okay yeah this one is the gray box and this one is our for loop okay compare this thing with this code so uh, this one is the initialization part as i uh, discussed in a previous presentation uh, this Beeman's algorithm needs initialization so I am initializing my Beeman's algorithm with uh, Euler Cromer method and then comes the actual Beeman's algorithm so this is the time loop and this one is our for loop which we have seen in that gray box right and this is our solver so you can easily compare this with this illustration okay so once we run this thing let me execute this uh, result but uh, i think it will take some time so uh, at the end of this process we will have all the coordinates so as you can see in this data folder uh, this x.txt file is now changed so these are the output right this one is uh, for dt uh, t is equal to delta t this one is for d uh, time is equal to two times delta t three times delta t four times delta t that's how you can uh, read this uh, text file this column this first column is for first particle the second column is for second particle this one is for third and this one is for fourth so we will have this kind of an output right and this is the last plotting part plot data dot py okay so here you can see thing. so here also i am first importing all the necessary libraries then uh, i am um, i have written this uh, class to calculate the energy of the system this will i will discuss more in next video and uh, this class plot data will generate a plot for us okay so let's uh, run this code and see what we are getting okay let's wait for yeah so this kind of uh, output we will get don't worry about this uh, plot this complicated plot i will discuss this thing in next video but this is going to be a strategy right first we will write our input in text file then we will uh, initialize our uh, all particles uh, okay initial position initial velocity and charges or mass of each particle then we will run this main program and then if we wish to plot then we can uh, run this plot data dot py so this was the communication part guys and yeah before i conclude this uh, part uh, there are few uh, comments which i want to announce first is the importance of our third pillar which is speed will be discussed in next video okay second is we will restrict ourselves to the two dimensional world this will reduce lots of complexities and uh, if you if you wish to generalize this code in uh, future then you can easily uh, write one or two lines in your solver and you can uh, 
analy analyze your uh, end particle system in uh, three dimension but for now to reduce complexities i will stick to the uh, two dimensional world only the third and most important point is i will use normalized unit right so what do i mean by normalized unit uh, some constant like the constants like uh, gravitational constant capital g dielectric constant uh, 1 upon 4 pi x epsilon 0 i will assume all this constant to unity means i will take them one this will uh, uh, this is uh, i am doing because i want to focus more on the coding part rather than on scaling part this all constants are just scaling factors right so that's the important point and this uh, ends our uh, first part guys of our presentation in this part uh, we have discussed introduction and strategy and in next uh, part we will discuss coulomb force we will uh, use this uh, coulomb potential to um, uh, check our results so this was all guys for this video see you in next video bye